Jersey, okay? You may see some conservative women looking at some of these women who 40 years ago were aspiring models in Hollywood, uh, Playboy centerfolds, whatever they were, and they may be questioning their modus operandi, they may be questioning their behavior, questioning their values, and I think the defense is going to do a tremendous job investigating who these women are, and more importantly, who they were 40 years ago. So, Laura, if I can, what's your reaction, and what can prosecutors do to combat this type of scrutiny? I mean, is this trial, do you think, going to come down to just simply uh, a character assessment of both the accuser and the defendant? It will come down to character, but this point would be much more appropriate if we're talking about the victim in this case having been one of the women he's talking about. We're talking about a woman who was in the athletic department at Temple University, was not somebody who was vying for public attention, was not in the forefront, was not a playboy model or anything else. We're talking about somebody who was lured under the pretense of having a career um, suggestion or a career conversation, and she was a mentee. So his point is well noted that we do attack the credibility of sexual assault victims in this country. However, what his point to is the fact that the prosecution is going to have to try to betray the credibility of this particular victim by adding testimony of the other alleged victims, not all 50 of them, but certainly part of them. And the reason for that is because you're able in some of these cases to say, look, this is a theme. It's a pattern of behavior. It's not an isolated incident. It's an aberration of character, but more than that, this is a modus operandi. This is his thing to give somebody a substance and then take advantage of. That's their claim as a prosecution. So it will come into play when you're trying to assess the credibility of those women who may testify. But frankly, his point is irrelevant and lost on this particular victim. Given that we've uh, learned about what led this new prosecutor to bring the charge against Cosby, what would you focus on if you were arguing this case before a jury? If I was arguing, I would argue in the fact that we're not talking about the victims that are in the court of public opinion who came decades later to talk about um, Bill Cosby's alleged acts against them. We're talking about somebody who, within a year, wasn't admitted, within a year reported to the criminal prosecutor in this case, and she went along and was stepped back to have a civil suit. I would focus on the fact that, frankly, when a woman is attacking a, a person for a saying that she's a sexual assault, she doesn't say that Bill Cosby has sexually raped her in the sense that we're talking about. We're talking about a digital.